I'm not into politics yeah. at all. But this, I, yeah. Biden goes, I got something important I want to say and the whole world needs to hear it. Now I want to show you a video of comedian uh, Kevin Hart. He was on a podcast a couple of days ago and he too has had it with Joe Biden. And I would remind you before we play it, we showed you a clip last week of The Rock, The Rock on Joe Rogan's show saying that he's over Joe Biden as is everybody else. So something is happening here, Kevin Hart. I was watching Biden and here's a clip of Biden, what Biden says, and this is, I've, I've probably watched this clip I'm not into politics yeah. at all, but this, I, yeah. Biden goes, I got something important I want to say and the whole world needs to hear it. I need everybody to listen right now. And he takes a beat. He goes, I forget it. <laughs> <laughs> President of the United States. So people are realizing it, right? For years, literally before Joe Biden was president, I, and I'm not the only one, was talking about there's something cognitively not right with this guy. We all know it, the wandering, the confusion, the starting of sentences that either don't end where they're supposed to go or just meander off completely like him wandering through the, the White House lawn, et cetera, et cetera. Um, between Cardi B realizing that there's a sanitation problem and blaming that on Biden, and then say Kevin Hart going, this guy's not mentally right. It does show that something is happening. And then what did we have? What was it about two weeks ago when David Axelrod, former Obama guy, suddenly was tweeting out, oh, Joe's getting kind of old. Like they really are figuring it out right now. Gavin Newsom hosting Xi Jinping, the president of China, like something is in the ether. But I mention all of this because one of the things that the machine does really well is no matter how bad the Democrats are, no matter how decrepit they are or confused or whatever's going on in their brains, no matter how bad their policies are that lead to sanitation problems in New York City and everything else, the Democrats always sort of stay in power, at least culturally, right? Occasionally we get some Republican presidents or Republican governors or whatever, but the cultural apparatus always somehow leans left.